Hello guys, I hope you all doing great. In this video I'm going to show you how I was making a female head starting from the sphere. And as you see I'm making a very basic shapes in the beginning and I try to start from a very very low resolution and just blocking out very basic shapes resembling the helmet and just carving out some main features of the head like ears using the mask A little bit working on the neck and the back muscles and I normally stay very long time in the lowest resolution as I can up until I'm not satisfied with the main shapes of the head and I try to check the head from different sides and right now I went a little bit up in the resolution level and smoothed the head and started to give a little bit more details to the head and it's absolutely normal if your head is looking very ugly for a pretty long time so don't panic if that happens to you as well at some point it should look good if you practice often of course yeah now the simply I added eyes just simple spheres with subdivision resolution on again I went up in the resolution level and smoothed all the head actually I'm thinking to make her look like Wednesday from the movie because she's very popular now in the next videos I'm going to make hairs and maybe a little bit of the outfit so in case you like this video hit like and subscribe if you want to see how I will continue making this hat yeah this video is only about the head with no hairs so now the model is looking much better than in the beginning obviously yeah, because I spent pretty much time already uh, about two hours two and a half to come to this point Yeah, I really like to carve those lines and then fill it with the clay strips brush. Just adding some eyebrows volumes. Still fixing some basic shapes. Going back and forth and adding some details now. Yeah, now she's looking more or less like a female. Mm. 
I really like Blender sculpting tools. They are pretty amazing for the open source software. Before that, I used to use ZBrush. And it's really good. ZBrush is really good. Uh, because it can handle a lot of polygons, much more than Blender. But Blender is also very nice if you don't have ZBrush. I actually find Blender even more intuitive maybe than ZBrush. And the other thing is that you have rendering tools in Blender. And you can retopologize your model and make UVs and texture properly if you want so sometimes it's good not to switch between software software and stay in one software and it really speeds up your work yeah right now I'm working on the mouse area as you see and some fat pads just little hints I'm trying to show. They really give the good volumes and shapes to the mouse area. I was actually using some references of uh, Jenna Ortega, the actress playing Wednesday in the movie but I'm not sure that she's looking like her at least right now without hair mm. but maybe in the later in the videos I will try to bring some likeness I'm not sure but we'll see yeah right now I'm switching to the um, as you see to the uh, neck area and you can see right now that when I'll be changing the neck like this, it's looking very manly because females, they normally have very long and thin necks. So yeah, I spent pretty much time on this neck. Because in the beginning when I had um, low subdivision, low resolution, I didn't work on the neck because <laughs> it's hard for me to work on the neck. Yeah, and sometimes I leave it for, a, for later times, sometimes I even skip it. But this time I decided to make it so and it, it came out pretty nice I think. By the way guys I kindly ask you to comment below what you think about this kind of video and if you want those because I started my channel recently and I really don't know much what you guys are interested in to see so let me know. some work on the clavicles yeah and in the end I just quickly dropped some lights to make the presentation Alright guys, hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.